Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Miss Shelby, how are you doing today? Say, guys, I'm not limping this morning. I almost called the vet. I got up early this morning, let her outside, fed her breakfast, and she's actually not limping. So I think maybe what had happened was the pain, because they gave her like a numbing agent in her foot. Maybe it just wore off. They said it would take three to four days to wear off. I and mean, it's been what, four days, five days since the surgery? So maybe that's what happened. But I gave her her pain meds and she seems to be, she just had them a little bit ago, can you tell? She got up in her chair though. You got up in your chair. Good job. You're so stinking cute. I love you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she's doing better this morning. That's a good thing. And now we're back to working in our bedroom. Now that it's daylight in here, you can kind of see a little bit better. Yeah, I got a screwdriver in my hand. The trim work. I did that trim work. That's got both coats. The inside of the closet has two coats of paint. These doors I got to take outside and do. So I got to fix up the rest of the trim in here, do the trim around the window, and then, and then that. That I am not looking forward to doing at all. So I got to do it all the cove, all the way around in that same white as the trim. Ugh, somebody tell me, what color are these walls besides hideous? <laughs> After this room is done, there'll only be one room left in the house with those color, that weird color wall. Anyway, let's get to work. So, off topic completely from everything I've been talking about, I got a new Red Wings hoodie because the Red Wings have been losing repeatedly. So I'm hoping maybe today it'll be a good luck charm and they'll actually win a game. We'll see if it works. <laughs> Look at you. Are you so comfy right there? Yeah, I know. Them, them drugs make you feel pretty sleepy, huh? You're like, I'm comfy. What about you? She's like, I'm just comfy. <laughs> so, some of you know that we're redoing the countertop in our bathroom. And we had this idea. We've been seeing some things online using the epoxy resin. I guess that's called glaze coat. I guess that's what it is. Like epoxy resin or something. So, anyway, we had this idea to take some of the rocks that we've collected over the years and make stuff for the bathroom. This isn't the full counter, this is our test. What is, this is a back, gonna be a backsplash? Yep. So this will be one of the backsplashes or the backsplash yep. in the bathroom. Yep, it'll. As long as we get it to work. Yeah, and, and it should work. I mean, all we're really gonna do is add a really hard clear coat about almost, to, it'll be about that deep in total, but because of the rocks, the gaps are really small in between the rocks, but you're gonna, you're gonna see that depth through it, and then I'll I'll curve the top of it, and it'll that'll be the backsplash. I, I'm thinking for the counter on the bottom, yeah. That because if you look, go you can pad back in there. Okay. Uh, see in the bottom here, you can see I have some uh, little grit. It, it's kind of black in between because I have a backboard on there that I wanted the rocks to seat to because I don't want it to be transparent. I don't want to see the wall behind oh, right, right, these right. rocks. I would rather look at this. And I found some, uh, it's blasting aggregate or sanding aggregate. And it's just a very fine coarse, uh, black sand, black sand. So I, I rubber cemented the backer board and then I, oh, I was wondering how you did that. And then I, yep. And then I glued the sand to it all because if I poured this on top of the sand and I just let the sand sit on top of the wood, nothing would be attached to the wood. Right. It would just lift off of that sand. So, so I got the backboard and then I also took silicone here because I don't want, I don't want the, the glaze coat. I don't want that to leak underneath. Right. So I have siliconed the backboard to the base of my template so that nothing can leak underneath oh. of the backboard. That should, it'll be like a dam all the way around it. Right. Uh, and then I put just a duct tape around the top to curate a top dam here. So Jamie built this whole frame. And it's pretty much to the size. It should be a little adjustable if it needs to be, but I wanted right. to show you guys what it'll look like wet. So this is, this is the dry, and then when we pour it, all the rocks are gonna transform and they're gonna look like. So the rocks will look more like that underneath the epoxy. Did you guys see that change? That was a pretty quick change, wasn't it? That was pretty cool. See, like some of these are still a little dry. Yep. So you can see. Because they always look cooler. Is that Jasper? Mm -hmm. There's. 
That's a problem I'm going to have. I'm never yeah. going to want to leave the bathroom. No, that was that great conglomerate rock. Is that there. what it is? Yep, it's got the reds and the... So yeah, we're going to a... mix some stuff and pour some things and see what happens. Yeah, there's a lot of the conglomerate rock in there. Yeah. Piece here. And we got more it's rocks. Here. You guys know, we have buckets of rocks. Yeah. Got some rose quartz, just some normal quartz. It'll be fun to see how this turns out. Yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Mix and pour. All right, so we've done our mixing, and now we're going to pour. And it says, I guess, to pour evenly. Evenly. It said to start, like, I don't know, <laughs> in the middle. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm so scared. Let's see how far this goes. Slowly. Just start moving along. We're probably going to have to do multi-pours. We do know that. How oh, cool. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it will. And it supposedly is self-leveling, so it should level itself back out. And as he pours it, those air bubbles will work their way to the top, and any that don't, we have, we have a heat gun, but we also have a torch mm -hmm. to help work the air bubbles out. Yeah, you're right. We might have just enough to... Pull this There's off. Still enough in there, maybe. We'll see. It's our first time trying this. If it doesn't work, well, that's okay too. Mm-hmm. We'll see what we can do. So how long do I have to do this to pop the bubbles? As long as they keep, as long as they keep coming up, but you can only do that while it's in liquid form. So as soon as it's not in liquid form, pop in the air bubbles. Works for you. Maybe? I think regardless it's gonna have some because of the amount of because of cavities. the rocks and the sand and the cavities, yeah, but like here you can see some at the top. See these big ones at the top right. here? Pretty neat. All right, so 72 hours from now, we'll find out if it worked. Three days, you got patience for that? Nope. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna work. Looks like it's gonna work. We'll find out. So it's been a couple hours. We watched a Red Wings game and we won. We did. Tyler Bertuzzi got his first hat trick of his career on his 100th game. Mm, it's still. You it's, can touch it. It's hard. It's hard. It's going to take 72 hours to fully cure, and it'll actually probably take a little bit longer for ours because uh, we poured it a little thicker mm. than you're supposed to. It's just to show how hard it is. Yeah, right. I mean, it doesn't leave a mark. Yeah, so it's already starting to get hard. It does look wicked cool. And there are a couple small little bubbles. I love that it looks like you're but, looking at rocks underwater. But that's about, yeah, that's about what it reminds me of. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So for all of you that want to know, what do you do with all those rocks? Now we're doing this. Yep. We're learning a new skill. Do you think we should make art with rocks? We could. We could I, definitely do I that. I totally think we might have to yep. start doing that. Yep. Mm -hmm. It ain't cheap. That stuff was. What? That's because we're using a. This is epoxy resin. Is there cheaper stuff? Yes, you can buy just regular resin, and it. You could do the same thing, only it's not as hard. But like stuff you want to hang on the wall. Oh right. right you would use right. like you can use resin. Right. But if you're not making like a table, you table don't have to use the epoxy resin. The yeah. Okay. So I did learn that today, mm, and the resin. The resin is cheaper. Works pretty much the same way. Um, just so, as clear? Yeah. I saw a lot of people mix and dyes and stuff into them. Yeah, and that's a lot of, the, a lot of that is the resin. They make a lot of art with it. They'll make like wall art and a lot, stuff. A lot of these rocks look like the light would come right through them. I mean, not on this particular piece because there's not going to be any light behind that. Oh, there's a big glare. Hold on, yep. let's try that fly over again. Ready? Which one's your favorite rock, you guys? Right. Oh my goodness. And a lot of cool ones. I, it does have a, li a couple little air bubbles in yeah. it, but I kind of like it because it looks like, like water. It's water. Yeah, exactly. Pretty neat. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to break it out of this mold. Yeah, you gotta wait a couple days. So. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, I know patience. Patience, grasshopper. Patience. Look at you. You're so stinking cute. Oh, Shelby, I am so ready to not sleep on this beanbag chair anymore. And not that it's not super comfy. Um, SumoLounge.com is where we got it from. It is really super comfy. I just really, I really miss my bed. I know you do too, huh? And I know you do too. We're all like, we would just like the bed back. Two more nights, and we'll be able to sleep in the normal bed again. And it'll be nice and short for you. 
All right, so I'm doing this stupid cove. One more coat and it should be done. It is literally taking me forever to edge it because I didn't want to use tape because it just takes so long to do it and it's just easier to just edge it on my own. So I did two coats of that and now I'm gonna roller the middle with a little mini roller. Should only need one coat um, and the top of it will be done. And for those of you that may be wondering about the um, countertop that Jamie is making, it is for the small bathroom in our bedroom. He's also remaking the cabinet in here as well. So this is what we will eventually fill with rocks and do the same type of thing with. And then the backsplash he made is going to go across the back there. So we'll show you that process as it goes along as well. Really, Shelby? The bed's not really actually made. We're not actually sleeping in here. This is the first time she's actually made it all the way down the hallway. And then, before I could stop her, she ran past me and jumped on the bed, hit her paw on the side of the bed, just like I knew you would. That's why we're lowering the bed. And almost fell. Scared the crap out of me. We can stay in here for a little bit, but you can't stay on here because if you try to jump off this bed by yourself, we're going to be in trouble. Two more nights, and I swear you can come back and sleep in this bed again. Two more nights, okay? Both of them are like, oh, we miss our bed so much. I know, two more nights. And we'll put the bed lower, make it easier to get in and out of. We'll have new carpet, new paint. We're going to fix the rails on the side of the bed. It'll be gorgeous. I guess we're going to end this here. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. I'm telling you, you can't sleep here. I'm sorry, but we can't. All right, let's go to bed. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs